Slaughterhouse prayer. Mary was four months old and missed her mum. So did the do hundred or other so lambs. It was nearly midnight and she didn't have a clue where she was going, having been bought and sold on and moved several times in the last 10 days. Until she was taken from her mother, she had spent her short life out in the open and hated this fussy new world. She was used to a field on the side of a hill, grass under her feet and the sky above her head. Views of sunrises and sunsets, clean air to breathe. At night she would look up at the twinkling stars and wonder what they were. She wondered about these humans as well. While their movements were slow and they could never have survived in the outdoors as she had done, they had a cunning and that made her their prisoner. They stood in small huddles, bodies swollen with fat, smelling of milk as if they were still being suckled themselves. The lambs were being forced towards a lorry and the humans were becoming louder as she could hear a dog barking. Born in winter, she had been lucky to live through the snow and cold when so many others had starved or frozen to death. She had seen the moon and the sun light up the snow and the bodies of the dead, not knowing what it meant. Her mum had loved and protected her and seen her through several storms. As unknown to Mary, men had been fiddling with her mum's body. In a normal world, Mary would have been born in the spring or the summer when the weather gave her a better chance of survival. But the farmers used hormones to bring the breeding cycle of the ewes forward. They needed lambs for the spring. People wanted to eat her at Easter. Christians wanted to celebrate the self-sacrificing lamb of God with the sacrifice of an innocent. You couldn't make it up. The men forcing Mary up the ramp and into the back of the lorry were powerful and had their way. The lambs pressed in tight as the container filled up. The doors slammed and they stood in darkness. The lambs called out. The driver started his engine. Metal rattled and the floor moved and they were jolted forward, some of them falling and one boy breaking a leg and crying as the others tried to back off and avoid trampling him to death. The driver changed gears and headed for the open road, choosing one of his trucker's CDs and waiting for the guitars to begin. Putting his foot down and singing along as the big wheels turned.